mooring lines, different sorts, different specs, different prices. But crucial is that the line is much stronger than the winch brake, so the line won't break in extreme conditions. Where can one find the information about the minimum braking load of a line? How can we ensure that the line has not become weaker? When and how should we order new lines? As a rule of thumb, take the vessel's equipment number, look up the minimum braking load in MSC Circular 1175 and double it. For example, the equipment number is 3040. The minimum braking load found in this table is 500 kN. So the line should have a minimum braking load of 100 ton. And so the winch brake should be adjusted at 60%, so 60 ton. Each individual line has a certificate that clearly specifies its minimum braking load. But the same strength doesn't mean the same properties. Two ropes. Same minimum braking load, but different properties. This one, an open structure and easy to check the quality, easy to splice, but also open for rust, sand, salt and sunlight, which may cause damage due to internal abrasion. This rope is more expensive, but has a cover for a longer lifetime, a better shape stability on a winch drum, and is safer when the minimum braking load is exceeded. This test shows the difference. This is how the open structure rope reacts. The covered line reduces the snapback, so less risks for the crew. But when ordering a line, there is more to be considered. The elasticity of the mooring line should match the other mooring lines used for the same function. For example, all the breast lines should have the same elasticity. That's the only way all the forces can be equally spread over all the mooring lines. How can we maintain lines optimally? By ensuring that there are no burrs or grooves in the leads. Also avoid contact between lines and sharp edges and ensure that there are no twists or kinks in the lines. And finally, turn the line on the drums end-to-end half-time. Even if the lines are maintained optimally, regular visual checks are important to maintain the quality of the rope. In case of doubt about the condition, send the rope over to your manufacturer for a check.